There are a whole bunch of old public buildings out there where we can save a lot of money for the taxpayers and create better working conditions for our workers. Both money savers, money makers for taxpayers. There's a process called ESCO, which is Energy Service Contracting. And there are companies that go around the state and talk to schools, any local jurisdiction, any, and, and if you agree, they'll do an audit on your building or your facilities, sewer plants, whatever they are, and show you how much they can save. Then through the ESCO process, which is a loan from the treasurer's office, you can finance that loan completely out of the savings. And if they don't make the contract, if they don't actually make the goals that they say, they have to pay the loan. And they have to have the financial backing to be able to do that. So it is guaranteed that if you don't get the energy savings, you don't have to pay for the loan. The grants that we did in the capital budget was to juice that project. Just imagine if you had a leaky roof and you didn't have any insulation. And changing the insulation will finance some of the projects, but the roof is gonna be really expensive. So what we did with the grants is say, fix the roof with our money, then you can move forward with the insulation and save money there. It's been very successful in schools, and I wanna do it with the local government. Last year, we got another grant, this time a $500,000 energy efficiency grant from the state to be able to do HVAC improvements at a couple buildings, as well as replace all of the city-owned street lights, the total of 3,200 street lights in the city with LED technology. And this was an uh, incredible opportunity for the city to reduce our energy use. LED street lights use 50 to 60% less energy. The city is going to save $174,000 a year in our power bill associated with replacing those street lights. These were street lights that we had that were aging, they were past their useful life, they were failing, we were having a difficulty keeping up with keeping the lights on. So we were able to get a major infrastructure improvement in our city done, and then also to reap the benefits of the, of the energy savings. Again, it wouldn't have been possible without the state grant that we got, a utility incentive we got from Puget Sound Energy, and then again, some debt financing that the city took on once again, using the energy savings to repay the debt. City Hall is, is located in a building that was built in the 1920s, and so obviously it was not built back in the day to be sustainable for the long term. So we've done some really creative things with retrofitting this building. So we've changed the roof, we've changed the AV system, and we worked really, really well with the state and our public utility to put together a package that would allow this to be very, very cost effective in the long run. Now this is a really, really good deal for Tacoma taxpayers for a few reasons. Number one, it's responsible use of resources and number two, it helps meet our sustainability goals. We were able to do this because we worked with the Department of Commerce at the state who provided a grant. We have our own publicly owned utility which provided incentives and then we were able to bond the rest of it. So by using those three resources we had the means to actually retrofit this building so it's more sustainable and in the long run the taxpayers win because we save about $60,000 a year and the payback period is only eight years. It really is an opportunity for the city to show demonstrated leadership towards reduction of greenhouse gases in our community. And so now with the, the projects that we've implemented thus far, we're, we're well in excess of three million pounds of CO2 a year that we've reduced as a result of all the energy efficiency improvements that we're making on our buildings, on our street lights, etc. Having this resource is great for cities, regardless of what size city you represent. And it's really important that the state legislature continue to provide this asset and resources for cities. So number one, if you haven't already had a chance to do so, please take advantage of this type of grant. And number two, let's work hard in the next session to make sure that this grant remains available for cities who can use them. The savings are there, the improvements in, in conditions are there. It's the right thing to do for your taxpayers, your citizens, your workers, everybody. And especially sort of rural folks, you get in your little town, you go talk to your legislators, you can help create more opportunity for cities to save money and create better condition. And association can give you examples from other towns where they have saved money. And you take those in and say, we wanna be like this town.